Long Beach flea market a couple weeks ago. And we really liked the lines of it, but it was in really bad shape. The paint job was really bad. And we had these little metal decorative conchos. Yeah. <laughs> conchos. Yeah. They're, supposed I was, be, they're supposed to be silver conchos, like uh, they decorate saddles with. Oh, it kind of gave it a Western look, I guess, but I w I'm not familiar with them. But they look like a, a nail stuck through a little metal tab. Anyway, we pulled all those off, filled the holes, and have already started to paint, uh, sand it somewhat. But it needs a lot more sanding. And the, the, even though it has nice French lines, it's not really a desk. Originally, it was a sewing table. Right? Yeah, it's got the little uh, hinges over here. It originally opened up in the middle, and it has uh, the drawer for needles, needles and thread sewing. and stuff, I guess, that will make a nice little table uh, for somebody. So, colors, we're going to maybe stay with the same type of uh, thing yeah. here, right? I think so, and then we'll figure out the design for the top. Yeah. It's beautiful out, it's not raining, and it's time to sand and paint. That's right, so let's get started on this. Okay. Well, I know you want to grab your paintbrush and start painting your work of art. But don't forget about preparation. That's a very important part No one said it would be easy and No one said it would go fast But the first step's preparation And the painting follows that So don't forget about preparation Before you grab that old paintbrush Yeah, some people get so excited about their beautiful work of art They just want to jump in and paint that thing But it's not the way you do it. You gotta put in the work of preparation. That means you gotta clean it, you gotta sand it, you gotta smooth it out, and make it look pretty. And then you grab that paintbrush or that spray can and you paint that thing. Just give me that spray can, let me do my thing I ain't no gangster, ain't no graffiti king I'm your painter man I'll paint your blues away Well, when this painting is done It's gonna be a brand new day Well, it may be black, it may be white, shoot, it may be purple, but that's all right, I'm your painter man, I paint your blues away, that's good, when this paint is done, it's gonna be a brand So we've taken this top, sanded it down, puttied all these holes that are around the side. Hopefully you can't see too many of them. And then sprayed it with a brown paint, a brown spray paint, and then sanded it back down again, exposing some of the wood, but none of the patched up holes. So it's, it's got a nice warm, uh, a 
feel to it and look. And then we've uh, cut this stencil, Le Petit Gâteau, and we're going to spray paint this now in white. And then after it dries, we'll uh, distress this down to a very light graphic so it'll look really beautiful. Anyway, we're happy about the way this is coming out. And uh, so the next step, painting the, the graphic. Ready to paint. Distress the letters a little bit. And we'll put a right. On. So the the only thing that's left now is to distress this graphic, and then we're gonna shoot the whole thing with clear poly, and it'll be ready to sell. So there you go. It'll be at Tea Leaf Cottage in, in orange. orange.